here's a quick um, device setup guide for 3D printers, aka FDM. Um, you've come to Kiramoto and you want to set up your 3D printer. First of all, make sure you're in FDM mode here. Um, and when you come in, it probably lists all the devices. You can um, select devices, add them to your favorites by double clicking them, it highlights them. And then you can filter the list to your favorites. So pick a device which is closest to the one that you want to modify. Because you can't modify a stock device, uh, click plus, and that will create a copy of that device. And so in this case, for example, I want to change the nozzle size to like 0.3. Um, and I'll call this Gridbot 2030. Um, here I can edit the different um, G code configurations for this. Um, and in this case, I want to add a nozzle. Um, so when I do that, uh, it'll add a second nozzle here. I can go back and forth between them. Um, the other nozzle can be a totally different configuration and offset. Um, and once you've done that, you can save it. Now, because I have made this a dual nozzle, um, device, when I'm done, you'll see the nozzle will show up here. And so I can then choose which nozzle I want. If I go back, choose a device that doesn't have two nozzles, that goes away. And I don't have the option of selecting a different nozzle for that. The other thing that's worth noting is that um, profiles track your the last device you used. So if I've set up this device and under my library, I've got, uh, say I'm going to use this with corners, right? So here you'll see GridBot 2030 is set up with corners. It says corners here. If I go back and choose GridBot 2, for example, I'm going to have a different set uh, default in this case. And if I go and change that to like the brick setting, um, and um, so now GridBot 2 is brick. And if I go say GridBot 030, it says corners. So your profiles and your settings will track the device that you're using. Um, and the way you set that up. So I hope that's helpful. It's a quick sort of overview of how you do device setup. Um, getting into the vagaries of G-code configuration is a much longer conversation, shall we say. Um, but if you have questions about this, please post comments below or go to the Facebook group for support. I hope that's helpful. Thanks.